Kirchhoff was writing that the first cell could easily have formed in some warm little pond. Those evolutionist biologists who attempted to make good this deficiency in Darwinism ended up disappointed. All observations and experiments showed that it was impossible for a living cell to emerge from inanimate matter. Scientists then discovered something else in the second half of the 20th century. Life, and especially the living cell and the complex organelles within it, is full of the most complicated designs. Our eyes, with which no camera can possibly compare, bird wings that inspired aeronautical technology, the complex and interdependent systems within the living cell, the extraordinary information contained in DNA, all these are clear examples of design. They also lead the theory of evolution that regards life as the product of blind chance utterly helpless. These scientific facts left Darwinism backed into a corner by the end of the 20th century. Scientists in many Western countries, particularly the United States, today reject Darwinism in favor of the theory of intelligent design. The reason for that is that the scientific facts show that life emerged with design, not by chance. In short, science once again confirms the fact that God created all living things. The Austrian psychiatrist Sigmund Freud represented atheist dogma in the psychological field in the 19th century. Freud put forward a theory of psychology that denied the existence of the soul and attempted to explain man's internal world in terms of sexual impulses. Freud claimed that to have accounted for the origin of psychological problems. Yet his theory actually encouraged new ones. This teaching, which describes man as a species of animal that lives only to satisfy its selfish desires, actually increased loneliness, fear and depression in people by debasing spiritual values. Pictures by artists influenced by Freud depicted the dark world of that teaching. Freud's most important attack was aimed at religion. In his book, The Future of an Illusion, published in 1927, he alleged that religious belief was a kind of mental sickness and maintained that religious beliefs would disappear as man progressed. Other prominent 20th century psychologists were fervid atheists too, as well as Freud. Boris Skinner, and Albert Ellis, the founders of the behaviorist school and rational emotive therapy respectively, were the best known of these atheists. As a result, psychology came to be a breeding ground for atheism. 
1972 poll among the members of the American Psychology Association revealed that only 1.1% of psychologists in the country had any religious beliefs. Yet the great error into which most psychologists had fallen was unmasked by means of their own researches. It emerged that Freud's theories in particular had almost no scientific foundations. It was also realized that contrary to the claims of Freud and certain other psychological theoreticians, religion is a fundamental of mental health. The American writer Patrick Lynn sums up these important developments. Scientific research in psychology over the past 25 years has demonstrated that far from being a neurosis or source of neuroses, as Freud and his disciples claimed, religious belief is one of the most consistent correlates of overall mental health and happiness. Study after study has shown a powerful relationship between religious belief and practice, on the one hand, and healthy behaviors with regard to such problems as suicide, alcohol and drug abuse, divorce, and depression, on the other. In other words, Atheism suffered a terrible defeat in the realm of psychology. The collapse of atheism in the 20th century applies to political and social ethics as much as it does to the various branches of science. The overthrow of communism is one of the most important examples of this. Communism was the major political result of the atheistic deviation of the 19th century. The founders of the ideology, Marx, Engels, Lenin, Trotsky, and Mao, all adopted atheism as their most fundamental principle. Communist regimes wished to spread atheism throughout society and destroy religious beliefs. Terrible oppression was aimed at religious...